Hello guys, it's Shun Smith. Okay, today I'm reacting to this video. Commands go through military training to join Elite Ranger crew. Well, what's that Elite Ranger crew? Is there some special rangers in the Philippines? And the training in such a Elite Rangers crew <laughs> must be tough. Well, previously I reacted to the best shooting team in the Philippines and I tried to join them because I liked guns shooting. But considering of their, you know, training content, definitely not. It was so tough. I had the toughest training I've ever seen, I guess. So I gave up totally. How about this one? Well, this is 40 minutes video, so I should roll up my sleeves this time. So yeah, let's get into it. If you enjoy the content, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here. So, let's get into it. The Philippine Scout Rangers are a cut above the rest. A light quick reaction force, trained to strike hard and fast, deep behind enemy lines. But to join the Soviet crew, soldiers must first endure six months of wow. Oh, he almost cried! To earn the cover of the back, the most will fail. What the hell? Oh my god. They must face a task of life. It's like a torture, not the training. Where some will pay me all the gonna be worse than I expected, I guess. The Philippine Scout Rangers are fearsome anti-guerrilla fighters. Mm. We evaluate our targets. We analyze, we discuss who among them needs uh, elimination. They are trained to operate in a dense jungle terrain found across the Philippines archipelago. The Scout Rangers go behind deep enemy lines with just a small team, little as seven men. Traveling right oh, really? And hitting hard. And to be able to strike fast, they use helicopters to hit the battle zone. Specializing in raids, ambushes, and sabotage. Oh, so it's a small group, right? So only gifted people is going to be sele selected. Wow, such a special team. Yeah, training in must be really tough. Should be really tough. The Philippines has long been plagued by domestic conflicts, one of which gave birth to this elite unit. The first Scout Ranger Regiment was uh, formed in 1950 because uh, the government is looking for a solution to counter the uh, guerrilla tactics of uh, our then uh, communist armed groups. They're called the hooks. Skill. I see domestic fighting it happens a lot in Philippines, which makes the, you know, this kind of army group stronger. I see it makes sense. Unconventional jungle warfare. The unit was modeled after two legendary fighting groups, the intelligence gathering American Alamo Scouts and the combat ready U.S. Army Rangers. Mm, they've got the effects from the U.S. joined the first Scout Ranger class. Only 72 graduated. But to become a member of this elite group, soldiers must first pass six months <laughs> oh my God. And it all starts here. At Camp Texas, San Miguel, Bulacan, yeah. in the northern Philippines. Oh, didn't know that. There's a camp in the Kepong Island. These 206 volunteers are already trained soldiers from other army regiments. Rangers, good morning. They will be stripped of all their ranks. Here, every man is equal. So far, it's normal army, but how is gonna be? All aiming for one thing. The coveted tobacco oh, cool. of the Scout Ranger Training School. The red border signifies the blood, sweat, and tears shed by every ranger during his course. The sword symbolizes our special unit capability, and the words we strike symbolizes 
uh, our capability to go anywhere, any place, and any time. Mm -hmm. Today is known as reception day. It's the main the recruits are in for a grueling welcome. For the next five hours, these instructors will try and break as many as possible. <laughs> they look like just a monk, but, but at the same time, they look very strong, so... <laughs> wow. It's like a monk armies. Through continuous physical exercises. Oh, must be tough. It's not just the instructors who will be brutal. Running with the guns. Guns are heavy, right? Must be tough. Today is a searing 32 degrees Celsius. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. It's hot there, right? Just 10 minutes in, the horse is already climbed its first thing. No, he's dying. But he's not alone. Four more recruits have reached their limits. No, we're going too far. Oh my god. This is too much. Oh, he's got heat shot. Oh, he's dying. He's collapsed from heat exhaustion. God, is that normal training? No, that's killing people. That's not. That's insane, man. To get his body temperature down. For others, Bell has just begun. Medics are called in for even more severe cases of heat exhaustion. Oh, oh my god, what's happening? God! No, that's not normal. He's got convulsions. Wow, that's too much. Essential water and salt. It results in dizziness. Vomit. Loss of consciousness. And control. Too much. If not treated fast enough, it can develop into heat stroke, a potentially fatal condition. <laughs> they encounter this experiment, but they still wanna belong in this team? I don't understand. If the condition is already heat stroke, the regulatory mechanisms of the body has already malfunctioned. Then um, the patient started to bleed. That would result to multiple organ failure. Oh my! This. So he's got. He didn't. Get any attack by his blooding? Oh my god! Some organs are damaged and the blood came out from his mouth. It's crazy, man. It's like singing. <laughs> Signed up, and already some are so ill they won't recover in time. This is not all right. Only the strongest will survive. Sa schooling kasi to mag briefing nat kasi ako sa mga senior ko na nauna pa sa akin na mag schooling nito. Kung gusto mo talaga makuha ng isang bagay, pagbutihin mo yung kuan talaga na yung galing sa puso mo ba na? The next challenge sees them hitting the ground. The unfit or unwilling have no place in the Scout Rangers. At age 32, Recruit 1 is one of the oldest in the course. Uh, this is my ambition. It is very difficult uh, and it's very hard to, to be trained as a Ranger. That's why uh, I don't know what's uh, the training I will going to, to survive this uh, kind of course.
So in this training after running the long run crazy Oh my god Yeah this rolling training it's tough I know Makes you feel to go for those still makes you feel done well and it's tough which makes you you know more tired so it's really bad in the game the pain is nearly over reception has nearly ended <laughs> oh, the reception that was reception when this is what no it's like a bury this is not training Right now, it's the, this is the final phase of our reception rites. So we, we're trying to let them uh, eat the chili pepper. No, this is not training. This is torture. They're judging by the, their patience with this training. No, that doesn't work. This is just damaging them. No meaning. I don't really understand. And uh, the juice of it. What's that? Wow, fuck. So after this, they're licking the tabak sign or insignia? And then the Musang or the Black Panther is our logo for the Scout Rangers. Finally, reception day is over. But disappointment sets in as these recruits realize their Scout Ranger dream is over. Hindi ko na nalaman kung saan ako na nag-give up yung katawan ko. Basta nagising na lang ako na parang na parang nahihila na hindi na before they realized they are uh, falling unconscious. So that was it's like accident. Oh my god. Kaya na ng katawan mo. At the end of day one, the damage is clear. 35 have quit. 171 remain standing. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> Philippine Scout Ranger recruits are seven weeks into their brutal training regime. 53 have already dropped out. Those who fail to graduate has one thing in common. They easily give up. The battle has been won yet. They already doubt themselves. Once you doubt yourself, the affinity will not finish the course. Pag exit sa static line, isigaw ng opera pin. Nakuha. Yes, sir. The recruits will test their heads for heights today. They're going to learn to repel on this 45-foot tower. Oh. Scout Rangers pride themselves in lightning infiltration and extraction, often from helicopters into dense jungles. Rangers specialize in jungle warfare. They rappel down mountains, cross rivers, using expedite methods or anything that's available within them. In the jungle, they need to feel comfortable hanging at 100 feet in the air, well under fire. In a battle zone, I hate heights. It's scary. Execution of these skills could mean the difference between life and death. Recruits will have to complete four crucial forms of repelling. The seat hip repel, the lizard repel, the rundown repel, wow. and the heli repel. And then, I'll walk some break. Yeah, such a special skills are required to do that, yeah. Get apart. Okay. Hold the rope. Recruits 1 and 155 are up first okay. with the seat hip repel, used for mountain evacuations. Recruit 155 is one of the youngest in the course. Alam mo ko po eh, kinakaban po ako ngayon. And first time ko po ito at nalulula dahil sa mataas ng katawin nito. It's like me. 
Oh yeah, he made that. He made that. The first exercise is cleared. They performed well. Even oh, that was a relief. That was a relief. Ito lang yung nagawa namin na medyo kabado hanggang sa ngayon. Kabado pa rin. Pagka tapos ko ng talon, parang nakangkit ko na yung kaba ko sa ilong ko. Well done. Next few hours. Each recruit gets a turn to perform the best steps for pounds. Yung hindi namin napapansin na pagkaragala yung estudyante. Once na hindi ka hindi nakahook up, malaglag siya or yeah, 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 yeah. yung kasama. He could kill the recruits, right? So observation and uh, control, yeah, also really difficult. Pell, used for clearing rooms with hostages, is proving a challenge. This fully loaded M16A1 rifle weighs over mm, three cool. kilograms. Wow, heavy. So, uh, here up ito sa lizard, uh, yung tali. Mas masakit siya sa biwang mo. Kasi pababa yung ulo. Yung bigat na doon lahat. Tapos may baril pa. Ma masakit talaga siya. Ooh. Next. They must conquer the slide for life. This one looks like I can, what I can do that, yeah. A 200 meter flying fox. Ang importante po ng Slug for Life, kung nag-operate tayo, may mga cases na madana natin to, lalo na sa mga ilog, malalalim na ilog. It's a seven second expressway to see. Oh, the view from here is totally different from that. The downside, well, the... Higher than I expected, actually. Oh, makes me scary. Ti or injury. Kung pagdating mo dun sa tas, paghawak mo lang puli. Pag hindi ka nakagrip, may possibility na malalaglag kadi to. Pus, makon yung katawan mo, ma crack. Really? Right here, won't kill. Nagapat dun sila mo magsak sa kabila dahil for sik ah sikyor. Kung di to kasi delikado at medyo mababaw na kasi either may mga bato bato na jan. The timing is important, right? Next up is amphibious training. Some recruits are weak swimmers. This phase will aim to weed out those that can't make the grade. Oh my God! They are required every ability: swimming, power, power, and jumping. Wow, oh, that's the uh, toughest training, uh, really. Recruits will be thrown into this 12-foot deep river, blindfolded and in full combat gear, oh weighing 30 kilograms. No way! The aim We're is dying. to first disorient them, then see if they can calmly recover and reach the surface. No, this is suicide. Oh my, you can't do that. The recruits terrified of water. This is their worst nightmare. Yeah, I guess so. Recruit 181 will confront one of his lifelong fears. So, kinakabahan na ko dito. Kasi, dito, hindi nga talaga ako sa kwan. Nanoy. Nung nangyari sa akin, nalunog kasi ako. Matagal akong sa iyong sa tubig. May pobya na talaga ako dyan. Pero sinusubukan ko lang. Trauma. Parang kinakounter ko lang yung takot ko dyan. No, you don't do that. And what are you going to do? Oh. Recruit 181 survives this. Oh, yeah, he went through a nice first challenge. Oh. Ah. Put up next. Is an even tougher one. Oh, oh no, got no, rid of their his fear. Groups. Recruits must tread water for 30 minutes in this five by five meter square. Fresh water has a density oh. lower than salt water, making flow much more difficult. I know. Oh, and the cold as well. For those bleeding, the cold and cramping is causing problems they don't need. One minute. 
Marunong lalo mga wife, pero hindi ko sigurado kung tatagal ng 30 minutes sa uh, tubig. 30 minutes? Oh, thank you kayo dyan. But recruits have more to worry about than staying afloat. Pepper! At the end of the 30 minutes, the instructors will jump in and attack the weak. Five ko, sasakit na na kayo. One, two, three, four, five. Time! Oh my! Amazing! Look at his face! This is a fearfulness! Oh. Yeah, I can feel how hard it is because this such a powerful man is crying, turning to be like a child. It must be scaring. <laughs> this is a real fighting. <laughs> and what I'm surprised is that the coach is even much stronger than recruit, so. Now I get how hard it is to get into this team. Member of this, you know, elite scouting team is not the people. Arian must be Arian. We have this uh, Johnny Clark for training for our recruits for them to get prepared when they engage their enemies in the water. That someone is drowning them. They don't get panicked. And they, they know what to do. Five cows, let's get One, two, three, four, five. Time! <laughs> God! I'm going to get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Oh, this team guy also joined this training. <laughs> Such a brave man. The recruits survive amphibious training. But what lies ahead will test their nerves and risk their lives to become a scout ranger. The scout rangers are an elite strike unit on constant standby to deploy against insurgent groups across the Philippines archipelago. June 7th, 2001. Muslim insurgents, the Abu Sayyaf, oh. hold three civilian hostages deep in the jungle after kidnapping them from the Dos Palmos Resort in Palawan a year before. After stalking them for days, scout rangers track the gorilla's footprints through the night. By the next day, the rangers creep within 30 meters of their targets. No. For the next two hours, they engage in intense firefight against wow. 30 rebels in muddy and thick terrain. Four enemies are left dead and one hostage rescued. Wow. <laughs> Strong. Marksmanship is a key skill for a ranger. Today, these recruits need to prove they have it. Four, one, ready. Fundamental understanding of positioning, aiming, breathing, and correct trigger pressing will be put to the test in five separate skills. Zeroing. One inch below the line of sight. Endurance fire, record firing, and the sneaker course. Oh. But it is the final exam that is the most nerve-wracking of all. What's that? A confidence test. Oh my, really? Recruits are required to shoot two bags full of colored water at a distance of 25 meters using this M16 A1 rifle. Oh my god, M16, that's the one of the, my favorite rifle. <laughs> oh my, you could kill your mate. This is the craziest training I've ever seen. With a 5.56 caliber round, first they practice. Then their teammates hold the bags. At this range, 
A 5.56 round could kill. Hitting the thigh could rupture the femoral artery, one of the body's most important blood vessels. Oh. Rapid blood loss leading to death can occur in just five minutes, and the margin for error is slim. So, kahit na perfect na ibang part ng fundamentals, pag nagkaroon ng error sa trigger, konti lang, konting error lang, maaari ang target hindi na siya tatamaan. Yeah. Maaaring kakaliwa ang bala or kakanan. This is so that's why you, that you could kill people, you could kill your mate. How can you do that? More than just marksmanship, it's a test of trust. Pagkaibigan mo kasi, kakabahan ka, na maaari mo siyang matamaan o hindi. It's judgment time. I can't see. Oh! One target down. Yeah. Lucky oh. for his friend, Recruit 22 passed and they both moved one step closer to being a ranger. Yeah, what a relief. I wonder if everyone made it. I, I, I guess some people hit their mate, you know, with some error, but they're still doing this training, so... Well, I, I don't know, I don't get why this kind of training is allowed. I, I think it's impossible in Japan. It's impossible. Next, the recruits begin the Hellebore training phase. Scout Rangers can deploy quickly into conflict areas by air. Landing into hostile territory, a helicopter is a big target. These men need to get out as quickly and safely as possible to avoid the helicopter getting hit. Yeah, in COD, yeah. The riding, waiting while waiting for the helicopter, and uh, until uh, riding the helicopter is the you know most difficult um, time. Yeah, I know how it is. Bali ang tinuturo ko sa kanila ay paano yung tumalon and then secure yung mga landing zone. Paano nila secure din yung mga personnel during movement, loading and unloading ng personnel. Stakes here can cost lives. Napakahalaga yan ma'am na malaman nila kasi as a scout ranger, hindi mo na kailangan pang i-command. First, recruits gear up with a quick deployment method. If the terrain is clear, the helicopter can fly fast and low while the troops disperse. Makibagay ka, makisama, makiramdam sa mga dito sa surrounding. It's a risky 10-foot jump. One mistake could result in broken bones. Oh my god. Oh! Ooh! Woo. It's cool though. Oh! Next, they have an even tougher challenge. Help me with tougher challenge? Ah, uh, yung heli rappel ay ginagamit yan during infiltration. Oh. Na kung saan hindi kayang bumaba ng aircraft. Hindi kaya niyang bumaba ng uh, sa ground, magtat sa ground, kaya kailangan magbaba yung tropa, use of the rope. Recruits practiced this skill at the tower earlier in training, but now... But that's a different story, right? Helicopters keep moving, so, yeah. They take it to new heights. They need to complete nerve-wracking drops from 50, 70... And finally, 80 feet above the ground. 80 with feet to stop them, but their hands. Ang nervous ay hindi natin na it's inevitable. Talagang ganyan. Pag una nervous pero ikontrol mo. Recruits first tackle the 50 foot drop. Kung tumalong ka ng siyang beses, paulit-ulit mo nang hanapin dahil nagaganaan ka na at excited ka na. Excited? Is that the proper word? You were just standing as... You just got used to it, right? Not exciting. I don't feel no excitement from this. 
located near the mountainous area so tendencies for the wind to blow from all directions making it harder for the pilots to control the aircraft. Oh, it's so scary. No, oh, Raphael's speed is quite high. Next, it's time for the big one. One mistake during this 80-foot drop could prove fatal. No! I can't do that. Experiences trouble. He's unable to control his descent. Quickly, an instructor hits the brake. Oh, tuloy tuloy na ako kaya kung halimbawa walang biliman tapos nangyari din sa pin kung hindi ka nakabreak kasi sa ito ka talaga may tendency na mabalian ka or mamatay mo Tomorrow, the recruits will face their toughest challenge yet Still, there is a still tougher challenge <laughs> I've seen many toughest challenge already. I can't believe. 153 recruits remain in the fight to become an elite scout. Oh, good. Good number. Today is the beginning of Hell Week. Hell Week. A culmination of everything they've learned put to the test. For the next six days, there will be no uh, rest for them. We push the students to the edge, testing their stamina, confidence, psychological toughness. As the day goes by, the test will get tougher. Oh my. If they fail one part, the recruits will be recycled to the next class or return to their mother unit. Oh my. I can't believe. First up is land navigation. Land navigation is very important as a scout ranger. Scout rangers should never get lost in the jungle. If you, if you get lost, you won't be able to accomplish your mission. You will jeopardize your team. The stakes will be I high see. in three okay. months' time when these recruits face real enemies. They must prove they can lead the way. Each recruit is given a unique navigation route comprising of any five of these 24 targets. The chart contains a set of colors with different corresponding letters. They have to find their way point to point but no one route is the same for any of these 153 recruits. <laughs> you kind of use cell phone and the GPS, just map, right? Map and your direction sense, right? Must be difficult. They have four hours to complete the test, and the course could see them covering over 12 kilometers. If a recruit returns late or does not complete his answer sheet correctly, he will fail. Recruit 8 has reached three of his five targets in under two hours. It's 170 degrees and the distance is 1,100 meters from here. It's my fourth target. Now on to his last destination. So uh, there's a stake under the mango tree. But the directions to this one aren't as straightforward. Ito to, kung sindan ko yung bakod na yun. Yan po ni Vince. Pag ganun, ito ba? Ito ba kayo dito? Mandar. And he's not the only one. Time is ticking down. If they don't get back in the next hour, they will fail. And they're a long way from home. Yeah, while you strolling around in the jungle, you, 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 you cannot get where you are in exactly. So you don't really get the directions finally. You know, everywhere looks same. And <laughs> you just, you know, go s circling around the jungles. Yeah, physically, not really uh, strict, but, you know, mentally, it must be really heavy. It's really hard. Recruits are battling to become elite Philippine Scout Rangers. It's Hell Week. And they're in the middle of their navigation exam. Time is running out for Recruit 8, while some have already made it to the finish line. Oh. But the mistakes are numerous. Mm, siguro, hindi nila na kukuha yung basic ba na dapat gawin. Kung paano kumuha ng reference, Kung paano mag-plot ng 
kung pasama pa. One has run into bad luck. Recruit 205 claims he has been the victim of theft. A cow has eaten his test paper. The instructors tell the people to make a nervous wait as they check out the store. Sinasabi ko naman yung totoo. So, sa instructor na lang yung maniwala sa hindi, basta... They can't verify his story, but they will give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh. Recruit 205 is given another chance at the test. Oh, that was a relief. He will join you. But fail this time, and he will be out of the course. Back in the field, Recruit 8 needs some help. With just 50 minutes to go, this fifth and final station is done. Recruit 8 heads back to the training school to meet his comrades. Recruit 205 returns from his second consecutive test, just in the nick of time. It's the moment of the truth. But it's not good news. What? What happens? Ah, pagumpisa palang wala na. Pangalawa wala din. Ano ba si Ro? Wala sir. Wala talaga. Hindi talaga tumama. He's fit. As a recycled machine, his search to be a scout ranger is over. Pagkatapos pa once na kamali ka sa unang target palang, kamali na talaga natin. Kaya dun na wala na wala. At the end of the navigation day, 20 recruits have failed. For recruit 35, they achieved this level but failed and uh, out of the training. They get out of the training. No mercy! Wow. It's a cruel end of the road. It's a cruel end of the road. It's a cruel end of the road. It's a cruel end tapos yung pinag-iingat-ingatan mo na training mo eh, para isang pagkakamali mo lang biglang nawala lahat nagunaw lahat oh. the night is not over for those who remain the recruits are not allowed to rest they're kept up all night practicing martial arts crazy this is not designed to make them experts at fist fighting, but to wear them down. 7 a.m. Another grueling day of testing begins. Drop! It's the water confidence exam. It's like a ninja. But first, they must successfully swim across this lake in uniform and combat boots, weighing down the bottom. Recruit 181 struggled with the earlier swimming test. Yeah, yeah, that guy. But this one was harder. The weaker swimmers panic. Nasa gitna ako ng tubig, halos marami akong nainom na tubig na pumasok sa bunga nga ako. Talagang pilit ko pa rin lulutang yung sarili ko sa taas para makakuha ng angin. Akala ko hindi ko may susurvive yung langoy. But he cannot swim, right? He can't do that. It's recruit 181's turn. Fail this, and he will be off the course. Go! Go! Despite teammates and instructors' support. Go! You can make it! You can do it! It's not this day. Oh. Recruit 181 will be recycled with 16 others who have failed the swim. Jan, alam ko talaga na hindi talaga ko kapasa dyan. Wala na talagang lakas kasi sinabi ko na ilang araw na kami walang tulog. Pero before mag-open yung next class, 
practice muna ako ng language. Yeah, you should. But his fellow failed comrades don't take the news so well. Ready, ready. Bakit umiyak ka? Ito ang klasa to. Kasi maski anong pilitin natin, pilitin natin, hindi man rin kayo pala makakapasa. Next, next class kayo mag-join. Kuha. Yes, yes. So magbalot ng mga gamit nyo. Yes, yes. Okay. Walang. Oh. Day four of Hell Week. 116 recruits remain in the Philippine Scout Ranger training course. Over 40% of the class have dropped out or failed in the last two months. Pagod po yan. Parang yung katawan mo ibibigay. Kailangan mo yung palakasin mo yung isip mo. Stamina mo para masurubo. And with two more days of Hell Week, followed by a real operation against real insurgents, the road ahead. Yeah, in this training you need to be uh, strong, powerful, but other than that, you need your impatience, you know, you know strong mind. So. You need every capability for this training, it's not for me at all. Wow. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, I survive. a.m. Recruits have to complete a 24-kilometer rucksack march. Mm. They haven't slept in over 100 hours. Oh my! You got to kidding me! You, they haven't slept in over 100 hours. No, they're dying. You know, for me, I sleep eight hours every day. Um, without any sleep, I I can't do anything. I I can't do anything. Think I can't think about anything. Unbelievable. Medyo pagod pa ang katawan pero kakayanin para sa mga mahal sa buhay isipin na lang na ano, madali na makita yung buwan Even worse, they will have to carry 35 kilograms of gear on their backs Wow, 35 kilograms Heavy, it's really heavy They march as a team, but it's an individual assessment What's that? Individual assessment. For recruit eight, it's as much a mental battle as physical pain. True. There's less than two hours left, but the strain of 35 kilograms is showing. March comes to a halt. Finally, these exhausted recruits don't know what's coming next. It has all been a ruse. What? Oh, that's real training. Adjustment is required for this training. Wow! Finally. The final exam came. For the most feared test yet, escape and evasion is about to start. Escape and evasion is an exercise wherein students get a chance to feel what it's like being caught by the enemy. Recruits will be held captive and treated as prisoners of war. Mm. It's a reality that could happen in just three months if they go into real battle. This is good training. Yeah, they better know what happens if they are surrounded by enemies, if they were caught by enemies. This experience would gonna be is gonna be so useful for them in their future. Come on! 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 Come on!
Robbed of their vision, their binds are positioned to maximize pain. Oh my God. This is so real. Oh. Feet hurt. Must be hurt. We don't do this to traumatize our recruits. We do this to uh, remind them to never get caught by the enemy because the enemy will uh, show no mercy on them yeah. and eventually they'll be killed. Scout Ranger recruits have endured nine weeks of physical hell, but nine nothing weeks. could have prepared them for this, escape and evasion. For the next 17 hours, recruits will be subjected to various forms of torture. The aim is to make them this fear is capture. nightmare. The experience ko naman sa eko eko ay biglaan nakakagulat na hindi mo talaga maasahan na mangyari. Oh my god, he's a good looking guy, but why did he join this training? There are plenty of jobs in the world, but they hope for this uh, team training purpose depends on people, but you know, I don't really get it. Habang nakadapa kami dun sa parang nararamdaman ko na yung mangyayari sa katawan ko. Parang alam ko na na dito talaga mahihirapan ako. Mamatay ka na lang kaysa mahulik ka pa. Pero talaga sumasagi sa uta o isip mo na kailangan ko talagang tumakbo. Wala na yata, parang papatay na kayo eh. Pero pag doon pa lang nararanasan mo ng sakit, hindi ka na makapag-isip. Hindi ka hindi ka makasurvive doon. Ah, oh, yeah, makes sense. For recruit 2, it's a brutal lesson in survival. I think your loyalty to your country is really being tested. You will realize or you will uh, give information to the enemy once you uh, experience pain. What was that training? It's been 12 hours since the recruits were captured. What happens during this time is top. Well, so, some people put in a drum, drum cam. It's like a Japanese old style uh, bath. Actually, so, but it's, I know it's totally different things, but yeah, kind of funny to Japanese. Secret. What happened? It was really one of the worst experience, if not the worst experience of uh, my life. Recruits have been through four months of punishing training, but it's not over yet. Recruits two and three are longtime friends. They've had the rare experience of going through all their military training together. The pressure here is very, it's very heavy. We come from different units, so from the start, we found it very hard to adjust. Your patience is being tested uh, until you explode, you know, you until you cannot uh, carry yourself anymore. As classmates, we really do our best in order to help each other to maintain our strength and to graduate eventually some, someday. Yeah, they get the great mates from this training. They've been going through this uh, harsh, crazy training, but they united very well and uh, believing each other. Mates from such a Harsh training, it's really valuable, I guess. For, for the months to come, I, I think that uh, my dependency on him will, will continue. I rely on him very much, and if, if ever he will uh, not be around, it would really affect me uh, personally. Tonight, these two will lead the final platoon run, a test of teamwork and stamina. Next time they carry these 18 kilogram packs, it will be for their final test mission, a real battle. But some have additional burdens, like this MG60 machine gun. Oh my god, <laughs> MG60, that's also one of the, my favorite machine gun. That's 
<laughs> you cannot carry that. It's so heavy. Yeah, but it's so cool. Kilos, yung dalawo. They have just two and a half hours to complete a 17 kilometer circuit in the dark. So, ang reason na bakit kinakandak ang platoon ran sa gabi, uh, yung kagamitan ng ano na hindi kaya pasukin ng mga military vehicle, yung mga area, so kailangan na uh, double time. Split into four platoons, they will be staggered at 10 minute intervals, one after another. As a team assessment, they must leave no one behind. If they do, every member of the platoon might fail the course. Oh, no, that's strict, too strict rule. Teamwork is really necessary for this training, right? Oh. So, mababak down palang siya, tutulungan na. Hindi yung kung saan siya back down, dun nun na siya ya assist. They draw grass to see which platoon will go first. And they're off. into the run. So far, so good. The first platoon arrives at the turning point, but some begin to slow down. Yeah. Well, the mates. Oh, yeah. Great teamwork. This is beautiful. Helping each other is important. The platoons only have 30 minutes left to hit the finish line. The team spirit is vital in completing the run, and Recruit 3 has taken on additional weight. Yung iba sa amin. Pagod na yung mga kamay. Kaya pinapabuhat nila yung mga replay sa iba. Talitan lang, swapping. Mapapansin nyo, pinapauna namin yung mga mahihina. Kasi kung hindi namin paunayin yung mga, mga mahihina, hindi sila makakahabol pag nauli sila. So I kailangan see. mauna sila. Yeah, he thinks about the team, team itself more than individuals. So, oh, this is, this platoon is gonna be make it, I guess. Because we, we did it properly and we, we get a time we pass. It's a defining moment for Recruit 3. For me as the platoon leader of 2nd Platoon, I think it's the very most, one of the most fulfilling, fulfilling event in my entire training. And this is wow, you can say full thing training for this training, such as craving, such a toughest training. That's, he must be respected. It's not easy to say that. It's also a test for our platoon mates, for the integrity of our platoon. And as you can see, some of us were shouting because this is the last night that we will be carrying those heavy loads. It's a moment to celebrate, but not for long. They need to prove they have the combat skills to match. Soon, the recruits will face the ultimate challenge. A real test mission. Oh. Real enemies, real conflict. One they might not return from. Oh, really? The test mission is a must for the uh, members in order for them to graduate. That differentiates the ranger training from all other military training. They could face the Abu Sayyaf, the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, and the New People's Army. Battle-hardened insurgents. But Recruit 3 is not daunted. Every mission given to us, uh, we will accomplish them with uh, uh, 
a great achievement. And here in Scout Ranger Training School, they're not just training uh, soldiers to become rangers, but rangers to become heroes. As recruit three in his cool. class head into real battle to gain membership into this elite club, First Scout Ranger the class ahead Special has just returned from Army. their test mission. I have the honor to present to you two Army officers. Ranger! 85 army listed personnel. Wow, 85 passed this test. It's good result, isn't it? And two police non-commissioned officers who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of Scout Ranger Corps. These 89 recruits have endured one of the longest test missions in training history. We spent two months in the Eastern Mindanao Command uh, five personnel, army personnel have abducted and we are tasked to rescue them. But and one recruit didn't make it back. Accept also the soul of the class member who offered the ultimate sacrifice for peace. Really? Sobrang longpot. There are us even sacrifices in this training. That's going too far. Never happened in Japan. If sacrifice is made in uh, training in Japan, that's gonna be big, Big problem. Tapos, yun tao pa na halos nagsasabi ng problema. Tapos, yun tao ang pwede mo rin masabihan ng problema. Kasi masakit din sa akin kasi halos naging parang kapatid ko na rin siya. One man died trying to earn this badge. But for those in this class that survived... By virtue of the authority vested in me as the commander, of First Scout Ranger Regiment. These eight months of hardship have earned them the tobacco August tab. 2013, I hereby declare the students of Scout Ranger Course graduates effective today. Congratulations. After being tested on their fight, they now have the right to call themselves Scout Rangers. Wow, impressive. That was great movie. Now I realized how peaceful world I'm belonging in. My life is so boring. Yeah, this you know, surrounded by this safety and uh, the life without any problem. I realized how my life is blessed after watching this video. So personally, I don't really agree with this training because uh, sacrifice could be made because training the content going too far. I, I know um, you need to train uh, like you die uh, to save people, uh, to make you, you stronger uh, in real meaning, you know, physically and psychologically. But that it doesn't necessarily mean you can kill people. So I don't really agree with that. But it's no doubt that people uh, went through such a uh, hardest uh, training it must be strong so that this scout lenses <laughs> the I guess the strongest team in the world could be strongest in the world and uh, also um, domestic uh, conflict happens uh, quite a lot in Philippines that's why they need strong army team. So yeah, I can get why they require such a you know uh, strong uh, team in the Philippines. In Japan, it's really safe. So you know we have we don't have really you know army. We have only self defense, and I've never heard of such a uh, toughest training in the, in Japan. But it makes sense that Philippines uh, require such an army because of that safety. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it. If you do, make sure to like the button and subscribe, please. So, I'll tell you much more.